found out about this game uh, actually through a Facebook advertisement. Jesus. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to go with the prologue first. See what that's about. Prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happened 30 years before the event shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near Gray's Wood Farm. By chance, he becomes a witness of a terrible, inexplicable events. Alright, let's do this shit. Air Force Base, August 6 million, MN? I don't know. No, it's your mom. I'll try to get in touch. You entering control airspace. You entering control airspace. Introduce yourself. I don't think airline operators actually sound like this. It just doesn't strike me as a thing that they would actually say. This, this clearly wasn't written by someone who speaks English, like as a first language, but that's fine. At least I can understand what it's saying compared to some of the, uh, the other demos I've played. Michael Anderson, the man with the most generic name anyone could ever think of outside of John Smith. Okay, get me in there, coach. Let me in. Oh, God. Oh, you know what, though? This actually looks pretty good. Wait. Bogies. Without contact, fuck that, I'm going straight for it. Bring on the greys. Do I have a, like, stamina here? Because... He's breathing awfully heavy for, like, two minutes of a light jog. Hello. Oh. It's moving. It's getting closer. Omega. Okay. So I've got this friendly little flashlight here now. Thanks, boys. The sky is blue. Yeah. I, I never knew that. This guy really just cannot jog. Okay, yeah, he, he just stops dead after like two seconds of jogging. Of course it landed in the forest. Wait, what's clicking? Roger Roger. Where? Bring on the gray. Bring it on. This Omega. I love. I love Omega. This guy is awesome. I can already tell. He he enjoys what he does. I mean, this looks really nice. 
the graphics are pretty good. I don't know if it comes across on stream pretty well, but uh, I, I don't know. This looks really nice. Omega, what the hell is going on with your devices? Radiation levels rising. Over. Uh, maybe you should get the hell out of there. It got worse. What got worse? Anomaly. There's definitely an anomaly. This is the base. Omega, stay away from the object. Observe the object from a distance. Oh, but I get to go in close to it. Okay, I see how it is. Fuck me, I guess. If I grow a arm out of my chest, then who gives a fuck, right? I'm just Michael Anderson. Stop the op. What the hell's going on there? Am I supposed to be like on the path? Something. Something's moving. Where is it? Omega, fly away. Michael Anderson, follow protocol. <laughs> oh shit. It's eating him! And then it's gonna eat me! Oh my god! I gotta put this on Instagram. Wait. It just like dis dissipated after like 30 seconds. I don't think explosions do that. Okay, th the atmosphere just got real creepy real quick. This reminds me a lot of like Slender. Can anyone answer? And I like how it's night vision. Ooh. That's actually a lot better. I feel like it kind of ruins the atmosphere. But I can see better. Beat the shit out of the other... <laughs> it beats the other alien game with the gun, yeah. Where the, uh, the A-Lamaus suck you off instead of killing you. They make you bust so hard that you die. Oh god. Uh. Wait, it dropped off the radar. Okay, there it is. There was some kind of encounter, but I was like looking at the pustules and the alien tentacles coming out of its guts. Oh my god, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this so much. I mean, I say I hate it so much, I, I, I like the horror games. But this is actually, like, really terrifying atmosphere. Oh. God, what is this? That's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Zoom in. Okay. I zoomed. And it's off. Oh. oh, it's playing Simon Says. Beep, beep, beep. Wait, there are two. No. Wait, they're fucking everywhere. I'm going to run straight at them. I don't know if that came <laughs> I don't know if that came across on stream but oh my god in the full game you will learn the events of the prologue or relay the Grayswood farm and the story of Taylor Fox the game to your wish list okay um this actually scared me a lot like the, the build up was really good the uh the, the atmosphere in general was amazing 
I am a little sad that that's the end of it. It's not really a demo. It's more like a... Wait, unless... That was the prologue. What if this is the demo? What if there's more? Oh, there is! Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm on the night of August 7th. Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at night different speeds. After a while, they vanished. Strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children claimed that something was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself, in the field, saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Gray's Wood Farm to take a photo and make a report for the local newspaper. Is it UE5? It looks like UE5. And by that, I mean it looks incredible. I mean, that's that loading screen we just saw was, um, with the text on it, was obviously, like, recorded footage. Okay. I heard the scribbling on my, like, pad, I guess, for my journal. I was like, fucking already they're coming for me? Do I not have a flashlight? Oh. It's the Illuminati. This is great material for a news report. No, it's fucking not. It's just like, it literally just looks like lens flare. Like a photo of my asshole would be better news report than that. Porn, porn, porn. This is kind of an ominous, like, no. That's an, this, this is an ominous, like, walk up to your front door. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. I don't like that. He left the door open, too, so God knows what kind of unholy creature is in here. Okay, phone's dead. I could have told you that. Let me raid his fridge. Can't. Can I at least close the door? Okay, yes, thank you. Milk! Tarkov has taught me that that is the best thing you can drink. They are here. Mystery sky object seen here in o o Orano? Is this like supposed to be Toronto? Oh, hold on a sec. That's a bot. I have to bop this thing. Wait, how do I bop it? Oh, there we go. Bop. Okay. The old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why have I never known about this? Or oh no. Is that supposed to be like Toronto though? Orano? Or oh no? Is that an actual place? Or am I am I just stupid? Coke. Okay, locked. I look out the window and something jumps at me. Oh, okay, good. This is a really small house. Like, you'd think if they had a farm, they might have had, a, like, a bigger house or something. Or maybe they just spent all their money on the farm. That is a developer and his child. I love it when they put uh, developer pictures in games. This is the best kind of developer picture. I love it. I hope the dog saves the day. Like, the dog discovers the secrets of the aliens, and 
I don't know, just like blasts them. Oh. Wonderful. I've learned a lot about these things. They're called the Greys. They're not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. Large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near the home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears. Oh god, I have a buzz in my ear right now, actually. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places, for example, in the middle of a field or on a road. I hear something moving. Oh my god. That's, that's ape here. Photo from the internet. I keep expecting to turn around and see something. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw aliens. Parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low to the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed that they were communicating with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later this evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Well, clearly they just made more hole. That was open. What, what's in the cabinet? Oh, can I like... Yep, there we go. I am safe now. I'm not moving for the rest of my life. Okay, time to move. I'm going to open this. There's going to be something there. Why did it get a little blurry for a second? Us. What would be creepy is if there was something like right here, like peeking, at, like right there. I would have shit my pants. Walkie talkie. I don't want to hear very strange sounds. Megan. Aw, the pig. And the duck. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted. No. No! No! Oh, that's a curtain. Okay. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I don't have a flashlight. Okay, now... Yeah, I do. But now I get fucked by the aliens. Uh. Ah! No! Oh my god, this is scary, dude. Like... Oh, I thought that lamp was an alien head. Oh, they knocked over shit. Oh, they opened the locked door. Fucking wonderful. Bro, I swear, I'm, I'm gonna turn this off and something's gonna happen. I'm supposed to watch this and then something's gonna sneak up on me. Can I pop a squat right here? There's no crouch button. At least it's not any of the normal ones.
Is that just a torso? Bro, my mouse is actually like shaking. I'm not moving it at all. It's behind me, isn't it? It's fucking behind me. Okay. I hear chittering. Let me close this real quick. We all know that you're safe if the doors close behind you. This child headaches me and the bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times. No one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctor could not determine the cause of the migraines. The simple answer is simple abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found out my old diary. It was then the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed them behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided I would get it. I'm not crazy. Did he cut it out? Oh, no. Oh, he did. Nice. Just pills. Oh, it's a spark plug from Tarkov. Take it. Yeah, so they can find me. That's a fucking great idea. No. No, I'm good. No, whatever's going on. Peekaboo. If I... <sighs> Jesus, dude. If I don't look at it, it can't scare me. Oh. You weren't there before, were you? Did I have to, like, go around the back? Oh, no. Oh, there's more of them. They're playing fucking Yahtzee. Oh, shit. You set off my car alarm, you fucking bastard. There's gonna be something in the corn. <laughs> Motherfucker hit me with the Michael Jackson moonwalk. Oh, close. I'm gonna get like doinked before I hit this, get into this car. What's the in button? Or they're gonna start like rocking my car. Like zombies. Nice fucking idiot. Electronics don't work when there are aliens around. Hello. Any, any grays? Oh. Oh! Is this attack mode? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, he just did like the Bowser laugh. Oh, oh, oh. In the full game, you'll find the large territory of Grayswood Farm and a full story of alien abduction. Dude, this was so good. Like, I am actually, like, so tense right now. I'm, like, oof. I don't know how to, uh, how to really explain the feeling I have right now. But when they opened my door... Literally, my mouse, my hands went off the mouse and keyboard, and they, like, clenched tightly into fists, and they crossed my chest, like, in a defensive position. I was literally in a fight-or-flight state, and I was about to, like, body check whatever was in front of me. I was gonna, like, take a shit on my monitor, because that was insane. Um, yeah, I, I mean... I, I want to play this when it comes out, but I'm probably too much of a coward to do so. But I'll definitely wishlist this just to see, um, just to see its progress and everything. Because, okay, so the aliens don't look stupid like in that other game. Uh, we were, what was it? We were here with the astronauts. It was like the monster on the space station. 
It doesn't look stupid like that, like, red Skeletor looking guy. They just look like really big gray aliens. And the atmosphere and the sound design, excellent, 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 excellent. I am really excited for this because I, I want to see other people get scared shitless. Uh, I, I don't want to get scared shitless, but I'll probably play it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's it for the demo. I did the prologue too. I think the best moment was in the prologue when you find the UFO and you turn around and you, and you see, oh shit, there's an extra blip on my radar and you turn around and it's just peeking at you from behind a tree. That was terrifying. And that was like your first real encounter with the aliens. But uh, yeah, anyway, um, that is all, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya.